you may be seated. Amen. It's good to be back to the uh, fountain where the water and the river of life flows. It's good to come back where it all started. It's always, you know, you just fit in like a hand in glove. Amen. This morning, before we do anything, we want to honor in our midst, Renalin Tate Temane. And Tate Temane is a father we love and respect. Ki Baba Zala wan Tate Chaoke. And Tate wa Me Chaoke. Um, 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 amen. Let's give God a big hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, of equal importance, every first time visitor and every visitor, we love and appreciate you. Um, you are welcome. Amen. What's about how Nalisbaka so we we won't go there but nevertheless to say it's good to be back home bazalwane we are living in the days uh where those things that uh were prophesied about are, are happening at a faster rate uh, if you remember very well we have been receiving prophetic words about going to the nations and the nations coming to us um, that is why I did not build this ministry around me because um, if I did that it would not stand I would be limiting myself in fact I would be limiting what God wants to do um, so thank you for your maturity for your understanding uh, that I'm not only called for Dominion Life Cathedral, but I'm called to the entire body of Christ. And sometimes the assignment requires a lot of traveling, a lot of sacrifice. Um, and we have entered into that realm where you pack your bag and you unpack, you take out your toiletry bag and those clothes that are dirty and you leave some <laughs> because in two days time you're going to fill your bag jump into another plane or into a car and you go into some other place and um, I'm glad that I have a church that supports me that understands the mission uh, all the time but homunati hobali bana ba ba khudileng ba ba understanding gore no le a asiteng re a understand gore why but hari si a fela amen he has left us in capable hands and that is why we are raising um, leaders we are raising people that can do what i can do and even in a much better way. Amen, Bazalwan. And that's why we've got Bo Pastor Dino Felane. That is why we've got Pastor Mahatu, we've got Pastor Lindy, we've got Pastor Wanda. Um, I can name all and all and all. And so that Musebezi was centered around one person. Because how about centered around one person? Then that means how much to owe us today? Then we say it's our own to help him. As I'm speaking to you tomorrow, I'm off to Cape Town. 
and then coming back on Saturday. Um, so, I have a mandate that God gave me um, to the body of Christ. So it's taking me to Cape Town this coming week from tomorrow until Saturday so that Sunday I can be around. And then next week, it's West Africa again. Um, um, but now that COVID is gone and we, we want it to be gone forever, um, the doors are reopening and it's back on the road again. Amen, Bazalwan. Um, but know that you are loved and you are missed and we pray for you. And Kikupale uh, understanding in Twewan, they will never be a time where I will cease to be a father of this work. I will still remain a father. So I'm trying to say to you, even if I can go and start Kompumalanga or start Kodeben or start Koswaziland, I will still come back here. This is the main headquarters. I would still be connected here. You know, do, do you know that Paul the Apostle planted churches? Um, in Ephesus, in Colossae, in Galatia, um, in Corinth, and yet he was still a father. When, when, when the Bible talks about the Corinthian church, it's not talking about one local assembly. Corinth is a city. It's talking about different churches in that city. And he will write one letter to address all of them as a father. So even though he had some other missionary journeys, he had three missionary journeys, he was still a father. Even though there were elders and pastors in those churches, he was still a father. Amen, Bazalwa. So let's go to Halari, but let's see a land of a hey, a kibon minangboni gasheng pupile, mbona ngati angsaizwa gashe. Linda versus America, say America, and Saizwa Gashe. We will go there to start churches. Prophetic words have been forthcoming, um, um, you know, confirming the fact that at the right time we will go, but this will always be home. So, for my pastors um, who are doing a great job, even in my absence. Uh, my staff, the pastors in train, can we give God a big end of appreciation and various uh, departmental heads for doing a great job. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's now go to the word of God. Let's go to Romans 15. Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are so gentle, so pure, and so kind. the bright morning star Jesus what a wonder you are Jesus so gentle you are 
so gentle, so true, and so kind. You shine like the bright morning star. chapter 15 verse 27 are you there Romans 15 and I read verse 27 it says it hath pleased them verily and their debtors they are for if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things for if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things their duty that is the duty of the Gentiles who were made partakers of their spiritual things. Their duty is also, so that means that's not their only duty. This is one of their or other duties. Their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. Then 1 Corinthians 9 verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 11 this is Paul the Apostle speaking to the church in Corinth he says if we have sown spiritual things for you is it a great thing if we reap your material things if we have sown spiritual things for you is it a great thing if we reap your material things that's a question then lastly Galatians 6 verse 6 we'll come back to these verses let him who receives instruction in the word of God share all good things with his teacher contributing to his support another translation this is the amplified version another translation says let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things I want to teach you on a principle that I have taught before and this is many many years ago um, next Sunday it's a service of honor You know me that the, 
there are no things that I would say I would not teach you I'll get other people to teach you everything that they come to teach is what I have taught you because number one I'm not scared of you as my congregation I'm saying that in a good way you know I'm not as long as it's in the Word of God I will teach you <laughs> am I right as long as it's in the Word of God and I'm not in error and my motive is right I will teach you amen um, it's like a parent who is afraid to tell their children the truth and they want another man or another woman from outside to come and tell their children the truth and each time they want their children to learn something that they are afraid to tell them they get someone else and when that person is gone it's quiet that truth is not amplified <laughs> then they have to get some no no that's 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 wrong I believe that anything that somebody else outside teaches you and I don't ventilate it I don't amplify it I don't teach it it won't stick as a father I need to lay foundation and everyone that comes must build on that foundation can somebody say amen, amen. they must confirm what I have already taught I'm not saying that every new thing that you will hear or every new thing to be heard must come through me no there are some people who will come with new revelations but even if somebody else comes with something new that I have never taught I will have to confirm it and I'll have to affirm it and I'll have to you know uh, teach it so that um, it can sink because I know that whenever somebody comes and he teaches something new what Abba Zalwane normally do they are saying we want to hear what our pastor is going to say am I right and if our pastor does not say anything about this then um, I'm not I'm not gonna be confident enough to apply it but if the pastor if the father says this is it then the, the church becomes comfortable can somebody say amen so um, the, the principle that I'm, I want to amplify this morning, I've amplified it before, but we have new people. And even, even with the old people that we have, they forget sometimes. And, and sometimes we need to put things in context. Sometimes we need to bring understanding. You know, um, in the service of honor, um, time is not enough. Whoever ministers will normally they do not have time to explain everything um, and, and, and it's left to me to, to be able to explain, to be able to teach, to be able to say Bantuanabami, this thing about honoring your pastor is in the Bible and we, we, we need to bring it from different angles so that you realize that this is not uh, some sort of a get-rich-quick scheme. This is not um, is something that pastors, you know, put together in order to scam people of their hard-earned cash. Um, for you to begin to realize that whatever it is that is being done is biblical. Can somebody say amen? Now, I want us to to talk about the principle of reciprocity the principle of reciprocity or the law of reciprocity now in any meaningful relationship uh, people ought to learn how to relate with one another any relationship can be a relationship 
uh, between us and God can be a relationship between husband and wife, relationship between siblings, relationship between colleagues, relationship between, you know, an employee and the employer, any relationship. Uh, people ought to learn how to relate with one another. There are dynamics um, of relationships that need to be observed. Now, how many of you know that a pastor and a congregation have a relationship also? A father and a son have a relationship also. And so, um, in the church world, um, there has to be dynamics of relationships. Um, we need, need to know how to relate with the congregation, and the congregation needs to know how to relate with their pastor. Um, in our Dominion Life Pathway, um, those lectures will be coming through. Okay, so you will be taught um, even much deeper on that. Now, it has been my observation over the years as a pastor that many Christians are ignorant on how to relate uh, with their pastor. They are ignorant of their responsibilities in their relationship with their pastors. Um, they seem to have mastered what to expect from the pastor. They seem to have mastered the fact that if you are my pastor, you must pray for me, you must teach me the word, you must marry me, you must counsel me, you must bury me, you must encourage me, you must visit me when I'm sick, yeah, you must bury the dead, uh, you must be there when I need you. Um, most believers, if not all, have mastered they don't need anyone to teach them that i don't know but they seem to be well vested well clued up about what the role of the shepherd to the sheep should be and there is nothing wrong with that but the biggest challenge is do they know what the role of the sheep is to the shepherd or do they just think that it's just the shepherd that must dispatch its roles and responsibilities. The sheep does not have any role or the sheep does not have any responsibility. You see, that's where teaching comes. Uh, there may be some people who, who say, well, I, I would like to know how to relate with my pastor, but nobody taught me. I would like to know what my responsibilities towards my pastor are, uh, but nobody Nobody really taught me. So the reason why I'm not carrying out my responsibilities is because I don't know, um, you know. I, I don't know because nobody taught me. Uh, but also the reason why I misunderstand certain things and, and the reason why I misunderstand this service of honor thing and the reason why I understand is because nobody ever took time to teach me. You understand what I'm saying? And so... Um, uh, some members of the congregation, I'm not specifically talking about Dominion Life Cathedral International, I'm talking about in the body of Christ across, across the board. Because wherever I go, I get invited and to talk about these issues and, 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 and this is the burden of my heart um, to ensure one of the assignments God gave me, it's about the local church to enhance the relationship between the pastor and the congregation and uh, my assignment is to build strong local churches um, that will fulfill the role, the great commission in their um, localities. Now, so many believers don't seem to understand the, you know, the relationship that ought to exist between the pastor and the congregation. They don't understand uh, the dynamics and the few that may cl claim to know um, are, are, are disobedient in fulfilling their responsibilities towards their pastors. Now, relating to one another in any relationship, it's a two-way, um, it's a two-way exchange. In any relationship, husband and wife, um, you know, pastor and congregation. Um, employer and employee, uh, you know, parents and children, it's a two-way um, traffic, it's a two-way exchange. Now, in the church world, the pastor has the role and responsibilities towards the congregation, um, which include, but not limited to, 
praying for the congregation, visiting those in hospitals, conducting burials and weddings, ministering the word of God, healing, deliverance, encouragement, counseling, and I can go on and on and on. But unfortunately, as I've said, many Christians only know about the pastor's responsibilities, but they don't know about their own responsibilities towards their pastor. But the Bible teaches that both the pastor and the congregation have responsibilities towards each other. Can somebody say amen? As a member or a congregate of a local church, the church must be taught these two-way roles or responsibilities. Now, the focus of this message is to teach you as a congregation or to remind you one of your roles, one of your many roles towards me as your pastor. Amen. Now, every relationship must be reciprocal if it is to work. So, that's why we are looking at the principle of reciprocity. Now, let's start here. What is reciprocity? Webster's Dictionary simply says to reciprocate means to give or to return in kind. To reciprocate is to give or to return in kind. Another dictionary defines to reciprocate as to give in return, to respond, to give back, to counter, and to reply. It means to give in return, to respond, to give back, to counter, and to reply. So to reciprocate means to return in kind. Also, to reciprocate means to return the favor. So, when we put that together, we can say the word reciprocity means to return the favor or to return in kind. All health relationships thrive in reciprocity. If you have a friend and your friend takes you out for lunch, how many of you know that that friend will expect you to reciprocate and take them out for lunch some other times. Am I right, Basalwan? Even though that expectation might not have been discussed between the two of you, but the mere fact that your friend has taken you out for lunch creates an expectation that one day this friend of mine will also do what? Take me out for lunch. Now then what happens if this friend keeps taking you, taking his friend out for lunch all the time, but this other friend does not return the favor, does not return in kind, does not reciprocate? What happens to that relationship? What happens to it, Barcelona? It, it becomes strenuous. What happens to that other friend? Will he continue to take the friend out for lunch? No. That is why Bazalwane Nagma relationships win. When we are clear, 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 we are 
awunikeli manje beze benze njani bayakubalekela ngoba uma babona wena babona umuntu okanyazayo yabona thina sakhula sase bancane bekunale lento bathi ukanyaza niyakwazi ukanyaza na ukanyaza it's it's when bakwenza ibhari ngathi wena uhlaka npa umuntu una lento onayo yena maruta aye yamnya ifihla ngiyazi lo uzongenza futhi okay akekho i believe by faith akekho phuzayo la phakathi kwethu sengi ukuthi i i i would like to believe but <laughs> you remember before you got saved before you got saved there are some people who were not real friends they would just attach themselves to you month end but ke prabiza prabiza utawuta wisa prabiza utawotsa maka mangwila prabiza ufikile ke stapura ke stapura uti 6 but ya ke buletso ra prabiza afitla dilo ditlo change mababona ukuthi sekusele 3 but ke prabiza wathi ba re sa futhumala ke san case But now once your money is gone they are far away from you they are not reciprocating so what they do is they just suck your resources suck your resources all they are interested in is not you it's your resources but when you are down and out they would not come back and help you out now that kind of a relationship it's a one sided relationship okay let me give you another if, say you work in kempton park and there is a believer a christian who stays three houses away from you they also work in kempton park but they don't have a car you come to church together and they say please can i get a lift can i get a ride with you to work and say no sure and seven o'clock you know they get to your house and you drive to kempton park and then each time you pull out to the garage to put petrol they start praying in tongues <laughs> every morning when you put they start praying in tongues now your heart you are not is not to even make money but every time they get off the car is god bless you god bless you uh, god bless you god bless you god bless you um god bless you even you know when they hear the news that the petrol prices and the diesel have gone up and when you get there god bless you god bless you god bless you let me ask you a question even though you afford the petrol it's not the issue of affordability even though you afford will you feel encouraged to continue giving them a lift awona manga mzala ono uzozukamba manga uzozuthi eh namhlanje angingena angisebenzi namhlanje ufuna indlela amaqhinga okwenza njani ukumdoja lo mzalwana why because ukutomlela amehla khulume ngeyilimi manifika ku petrol station instead of saying you know what hey yazi uh, night i20 rand lebe uzoyibhada le taxini ngicela ukuthi ngivele nami singezele li petrol kube ulo muntu uthi hayi no 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 unga ungakhathazeki and then makathi ungakhathazeki ungathi oh thank you jesus wibuyisele ngoba lokho kuyabonakalisa ukuthi bo umlinga insist when you don't reciprocate in any relationship you become a burden and when you become a burden people avoid you tshwana le batho ba bangwe re a christmas ing hona jwano go lo bekwa dikuku ho apeiwe ho na le ba ba reng na ke ape re tsama next door ra tsama re re happy re ja lunch mo happy re ja supper mo happy wena batho ha ba re happy mo a ha ho nkha di ntsifela nothing because yabona abantu abanjalo abantu ababhajeta ngabanye abantu you become a 
become a burden to people. Now when somebody does something kind to you, when they bless you, try your best to bless them some other way. The blessing may not be the same as the one they blessed you with. However little it may be, but show intention that you are also reciprocating, you are also adding value in their lives. But anything. Abantu abastinchi abayuza abanya abayuzana nabanya bantu abantu wangu tabo clever abasengonzweni baya kanyaza abastinchi ngatabo clever baya manipulator avoid such people don't give you don't give anything to them auna tula mina ngiti nzoti amen ngabanya nsiza yenu sala boli atelu tswa inja atelu shugel Nale site ya bonda says you could look at the corner. You love the Kakakona Shoko, or Chuka. Nezinja says Concotella Gleo site. Masses Concotta by as good I know why Chuga, who figure. You know, give yourself some dignity. Don't lower yourself. Don't lower the bar. Don't lower yourself to the point where you become a burden in people, on people that you relate to. Learn to reciprocate. Now with those examples, let's take those examples and let's bring it in a relationship between the pastor and the congregation. Can you imagine a pastor who is always praying for people, who is always casting out devils, who is always bearing people, who is always raising leaders, who is always preparing messages, who is always working hard for the congregation, praying for them, visiting them in hospital, pouring himself, sometimes not even having time to rest can you imagine that pastor in that relationship ministering to his people and then his people don't minister back to him <laughs> Can you imagine? And this is exactly what some congregations, some believers do. Maba funum fundis bam funala. Ogutle mota hamba ngayo ibuya pi i petrol ibuya pa ba fun gwazi si funum fundis. So can you imagine being a pastor, preaching, sacrificing, living your career, and I'm talking general, I'm not talking about me, living your career, sacrificing, sometimes you don't even have time with your family and with your children because you are in church, you are serving God's people. And yet God's people don't even have a time to say, Anabazalwane. Mm -mm, naughty, let's play our role. What do we do with the pastor who is working so hard, who is serving us, who is running errands, he's teaching us, he's counseling us, you know, he is, you know, putting Bible studies for us, he's praying for us, he is, you know, he is, we are who we are today because of his ministry, his obedience. Yes, it is God who does it, but God uses this man. What, 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 what can we do for his obedience? And that's where reciprocity comes in. That is where returning in kind comes in. That is where the service of honor comes in. Where we say, Mfundis, I, this year, every year, you, you have done your best. You, you are praying for us. You are preaching for us. You are teaching. You are doing a whole lot of things for us. And we've just taken just this one day. Just this one day. 
in a smaller way whatever we want to do for you cannot compare with what you've done for us but in a smaller way we just want to show you appreciation we just want to return the favor amen amen it's just an avenue of thanksgiving appreciating the man for the services he has rendered yes it is God who called him yes we are paying him a salary but that one he is working for it's not a gift but in reciprocating we are saying we just want to bless our men of God we just want to return in kind in all health relationships reciprocity is important reciprocity is good when your wife cooks a better meal when your wife does a good job when your wife does her best as a husband reciprocate don't look at her and say yeah, I, 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 over and above that <laughs> buy her a gift no 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 buy her a gift reciprocate if your husband is doing what he should do looking after the family you know you know fulfilling his duties as the head of the house as a wife reciprocate bless your husband your children have done well at school they the 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 they respect they obey the things you say as a parent even though that is how it's supposed to be but to encourage them you need to reward good behavior you need to reward good behavior. Mtanam, you know what? Bengit begi le uyangla lela ungenzela ini uya sacrifice. So naming funguk chablisa nam sanj. Nai gift. Abantu ananabo umama bayambonu mama uya le na le uya pitizela is a single parent. She's trying her best, you know, to make sure that they she puts food on the table. She's trying her best to make sure that they get quality education, you know. Abantuana noma noma abantuana banga sebenza abantuana bashagan pile. They would take part of their allowance. Babege imali kuleni batoli langa. Nomi ngaba inganga ngagana. Sometimes it's the act, it's the thought, the idea behind it, and not the amount. Ne birthday ga mama bati mama. She has good thing a birthday year to uwe oesha we nyuga, and you don't expect anything from us. But you know what? With all the allowances you were giving us. We have put this together just to say, Mama, we love you. We, we, we thank you. Masses is Osebenza will do more than this. What do you think that act will do to the Mama? It will encourage her. It will heal her. But if all you know is to place more demands, you, you don't seem to be children that are appreciative so now what is the law of reciprocity as it pertains to one's relationship with their pastor now I'm giving you all these examples for you to realize that the law of reciprocity is not limited to the relationship between the pastor and the congregation it's it's a law of life in fact the law of reciprocity is the law of life cycle maybe let me before I come to this point let me expand it a little so that you understand the law of reciprocity is the law of a life cycle <laughs> things in life are expected to reciprocate can I give you an example when you plant a mango tree when you plant a mango tree into the ground you keep watering the seed am i right then it's proud it begins to grow you keep watering and sometimes it is for years ne? you keep watering it you keep watering it then it grows you keep watering it you keep watering it 
and you keep watering it ukutele you keep watering the mango tree then it grows now you are watering it with the expectation that one day this mango tree will become a big tree and will give me two things it will give me mangoes and it will provide shade am i right and so you play your own part of you know nurturing the tree uh, watering the tree and then the time comes when the mango tree is now big and now the time comes where you do what you pick mangoes you no longer water it anymore it no longer needs watering it's now a full-grown tree now it produces mangoes now it feeds you you were working hard on it now you are no longer working hard it's working hard in producing fruit for you that is the law of reciprocity you spend time nurturing it now in return it must return the favor by producing fruit to you so that your labor is not in vain but the labor is rewarded Jesus went to the fig tree Jesus the creator right he went to the fig tree it was green and it was supposed to have figs even though it was not a season for figs in Mark 11 he saw a fig tree and he went there he wanted figs but the fig tree did not have figs it did not reciprocate the creator wanted the fruit from it but it did not reciprocate and what did he do he cursed it the law of reciprocity can also be called the principle of life cycle a cycle for those of you who do science has it's, it's 360 degrees right half a cycle is 180 degrees so each you know people in a relationship like in this case the mango the mango tree and the the owner of the mango each party must contribute 180 degrees and the other party must contribute 180 degrees to complete the cycle of blessing any part that does not contribute its 180 degrees it violates the cycle of God's blessings okay let me give you another example it's a principle of life cycle the law of reciprocity think about this a child is born remember you you were once a what a child right you couldn't do anything for yourself your mama fed you your mama changed nappies your mama bathed you everything your mama used to do it for you you grew up they bought clothes for you you didn't contribute anything as a baby they took you to the clinic they took you to the doctors when you were sick they took you to school kindergarten crash kindergarten grade zero they took you to school they kept paying and you were not giving anything they were fulfilling their 180 degrees you became full grown went to university now you are a graduate as you were growing into teenagehood as you were growing into adulthood your parents were growing into old age now you have finished your degree you are working you are strong they are weak when you were a child you were afraid of an injection when the doctors wanted to inject you you didn't want to go to the hospital but now the roles are reversed <laughs> you see life you see the cycle now when you were a child they insisted in taking you to the doctor now today 
Limkalagor am Papa Arin Spetle. Ay, 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 ay. Nak right, right. Lima Gogwats worry. All right. I don't know. Right, right. Oh, but what on Tavan Jackson? Maramama Jackson, Nella Naki Hulamus Nevan Tavakayon. Hey, so Kimango Tavan injection, Kimagog. Hale Kimango Natavan injection, Quen. The rules are reversed. Kimango Twenting a Fostello Mohia had doctor, Quen. Hale no Fostello Mang, no Fostello Wen. Who is now strong financially? Kiwen. Who is now strong economically? Kiwen, a Kimango Naling Mata on a Janu. Kiwen. Now you must fulfill your 180 degrees. And how do you fulfill it? The Bible says repay your parents in their old age. And to go back and look after the parents who looked after you when you could not look after yourself. If you violate that cycle, you violate the flow of God's blessings. Ephesians 6, 1 and 2, honor your father and your mother so that it might be well with you. For this is the only a commandment with a promise so that it might be well with you and so that you might live long. Ephesians 6, 1 and 2, hire children. I will let you go to teenagers if you fail. I will let you go to teenagers if you fail. You are a child to Mukhalabi old. So, you need to now reciprocate and repay your parents. It does not mean that you don't have to have your own life. Please hear me, because there are there's black tax issues. I'm not getting there. I'm talking about your parents. I'm talking about looking after them. The Bible says repay them. You need to plan how to take care of your parents in their old age. That's the law of reciprocity. O na tu siwa. What happens is a lot of people, when they get into that place, they no longer take care of their parents. For all of a sudden, their parents are now a burden. They no longer visit their parents. They no longer. They, they no longer. If you want things to be easy for you, don't even wait until your parents say, hey, Harina Wupi, hey, Harina Sishemo, put them in your budget. Even if your father or your mother still has his own businesses or whatever, you know what? For your own good, reciprocity the only difference with manje nkuluma nge reciprocity no mfundi swelu mara i reciprocity na baza albako it's important as well lo mzali o wa sokola wa kulisa wa sacrifice wa jule bunzi meni manje so ne degree Manje so na ma business. Umishiye ne forum echegi ile tuben. Wenu sale senti. Yabon wutu ne problem. And it's not because you cannot afford. Haganda ba salwa mbeba nkulisel kut ba enzi business ngami. Ae. 
We are not talking about that. We are talking about a principle. A city banigimali ako yonke. A city unga, but just look after them. The moment you violate the cycle, you are affecting the flow of blessings. Ngalgunchela something, particularly um, the younger generation. Inyembezi zomdom tala ziatus. Kumbulu ubabami um, Bega Tabaneno, my younger sister. So I had to beg my younger sister to make up with my dad. I had to give her money to come from Bushback Ridge so that I could take her to my father and plead because they exchange words. Baze bafunga lana. I remember when I took my sister there, my dad began to cry. And he said something in Shangan. <laughs> he said to my sister, uh, And then he said, I mean, he got the terms, terminology. anointing. See, I knew what he was saying. Long and short of it, my sister repented, apologized, and when my dad passed on, they were in, good, in, in a good relationship. But here's the point I'm trying to make. There are many parents that are shedding tears. They are not saying anything. And their children think that all is well because the old man or the old lady is not saying anything. And yet all is not well. English Bible school Marunga Abanye betula izinto azislungeli because of what I'm talking about. Sometimes we go to some sevens in which I saw lady. So that is why Abantabatala Bafuna e grace Yogba understand no babegeze. Baba <laughs> I can't afford a mule on. Often I do what he, nyosala nae, mangsalin, mangsalin nae. 
lezi ntangelezo na last week ukale la pants ukoshi ukutungu jeli no mangati ya no uge wangjel ata haya nishu eti sanga nkwaso akale le pants then i realized good namings of figala so what must i do let me sow seeds of honor to my old man mbonge nje ngicela uNkulunkulu ukuthi angikeze igrace yokubekezela yokukhupha angeke umshintsha umuntu omdala kushintsha wena i'm not talking on wrong things ngisho ngale nta iyo yabona bobaba in the same way angeke umshintsha lo mama wakho wakho ukuthi manithi niya uluwethi angene pick and pay you know money to ne pick and pay agcine seka jobele ungene che pep store amazwe ukuthi nilahlekelana kanjani manje ubuya phethi iqathula namanye ama plastic uzibuza ukuthi kanti ke kwenzakalani i clicks le i clicks ithenga siqathula hayi uthema uye toilet ngathi ngabe kukhona ezinye izinto noma ungathandaza kanjani wazila for 40 days 40 nights upeti ithombe zakho ukuthi nangikusi ngiyamleda angeke ashintshe in fact mauti amen uthi asiye shop uzoyenza leo nto times 2 uma sikhula impilo yethu yashintsha indlela yethu yashintsha abantu abadala there's nothing wrong with them we just need to understand them but here's what i want to say if ikhehla lakho or umagogo athulile nje ngawa ngakhuluma next it's not a good sign especially mo ngamenzeli next abanye bathula abanye bakhuluma kakhulu u understand ukuthi nabo bomagogo nama khehla wethu bayakhoshelana phela mabaya e mabaya emdendeni bokhola umdende uzwathi tsho awa mama slippers nangu umdana ama umthengele lo munye shema ka usaba nokuphakamisa inyawo lo makaqhosha ngo wakhe lo munye uthulile inhliziyo ibaphunga ukuthi ene lo mtana minyamazi ucede ukungijela ukutshintsha imoto last week sikhuluma ngereciprocity ne inhliziyo yomzali wayi ibaphunga ngimkhulusile lo mtwana ngimzele lo mtwana i did this and that i sacrifice i did this i did this i did that i sacrifices namhlanje so ukhulile akasangazi ukhiziba njani ubaphu let's shift it nangumfundisi ukuthola usabhayiza you don't know your left from your right ugcwela amadimoni ayaqindezela siya siyathandaza sicosha amadimoni siyashumayela uyasindiswa sisusa izinyama siyenza yonke into siyathandazela uthola umshado sithandazela amabusiness yonke into uthola umsebenzi or uthola ibusiness awo baso uthola uqala ibusiness sidawo praise god bese ushintsha imoto sibeka izandla emotweni ukuthi zingajonjwa zingahijekwa ngegama lenkosi au silindele phela ukuthi nawe uzothi hawu umfundisi wami sewusebenzile ngikhumbula ngingena la phethendeni ngingana imali yetexi ungnika from your pocket umuntu nje akushaye ngendiva nje ngathi akakwazi banga kwe kwenzakalana enhliziyweni yalo mfundisi nawe ngiyenzi be practical ibabhlu hawungo siyambe ngafuni nje imali yabo but just nje okuncane ukuthi umfundisi ngiyabonga the law of reciprocity yabona lethi ngikhuluma nawe kube ume eposition ini kamfundisi bo uzofeel the same way nawe ma ume kule position yalo mzali engikhuluma ngaye you will feel the same way 
bona i i i impilo e hlupa ngoba i Galatians 6 7 whatever you sow you will reap what you are doing to your old man what you are doing kulesa salgazi nawe uyalapho very soon abantwana bakho ungamangali uma nabo benza njani ngokwenza njani Aminana Kombela, I wish the same scallops and lips, not to get good journalists. You know, sometimes, you know, when I travel, sometimes I would see, even in the country, I would see bus loads full of, you know, grannies and, 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 and grandpas and, you know, and they would come off and, and then I would say, Where are you from? We are from Germany. We've just come to South Africa to see South Africa. It's beautiful. We are touring now. We are retired. We are touring. Oh, my Ambusa. No, how do you afford? What? No. Uh, I, I've got three sons. Uh, each year they take turns. Um, they take, and sometimes they fight to take me overseas, to take us overseas. Abantuana Balua, but this time it is Patale Lubaba no mama. Tina, abu it abo abo mkuru na abo makoko la mzans sba tateli malie penchi stengi airtime abagwas no guya gu pingoba abantu na betu sba inza abo babysitters spinde singa ba nigi next imali abu penchi ni tengi bisi lo mtu ana na mapempas ah kosiya. This is your cookie cashier. As I cook my cocoa. Yes, good tea in intense good tea. Sometimes Abazal Babin and King. I bong Abanyabazal Babin and King and Amakoska Zen in Enchatil. But Nanglom Tanuzol in Malium Tanit. Mava Bonabaga. But I'm telling you, Mong Abana Gagel. Mong Abana Gagel. Yasing as this increase your Zavantabatala this morning. The heavy. Umangabe Umam no Baba Basa Pila Reconsider the way you are treating them. That is why, even as siblings, you will think Uguti Gukona Banye Abazali Ababa Fava Ukula Banye, but it could be that. There are those who have a heart to reciprocate. And it's not difficult to chap this avantabatalam. Ne winta or your tenga ma pichama. Obaniga ma pichama or tengi chalili one foot abana abananda ban a label uti ilabuli. Justin Jama sent this in 1999, or not 19, uh, 99 rand 99, second, or 200 rand, or 300 rand. Justin Jama sent this in 1999, or not 99 rand 99, or 200 rand. Justin Jama sent this in 1999, or not That's why light dominion because we know the benefits. Lalel, noma ngabe ubaba, noma umama, bagpata ganjani, abagpata ngagashe, noma ngababa gwenzelanga next, lalel. When you reciprocate, 
Kuloko mnana bago enzile. Mtambe ngukukulisa or whatever they have done. You are doing it for yourself. Not for them. So the law of reciprocity is the law of life cycle. Let me give you one example and then I will enlarge. Get deep to, them, to my message. The law of reciprocity takes place every day. For an example, Malpe to Gula, Mangpe to Gula, after some time, Sisi Agupi, and Linengan, no man have ever to anointed Gangaganani, I get Kumutong at Minamangi, the toilet, never, Nangi. Malpe to Gula, and a local Gulayo, La, a plate, we are Nambitega, we are appetizer. Ma masego kai wogo tajeste tumzimbu tate logo tata yo. Ufiki skati sogo tu yegupi a toilet. Loko yogo keep a full nogo pega nogo pega. Now logo ge toilet we happy. We are la pants. Ugu uta gupuma ikabichi puma. Amanyoro kanti sen koshi uguti ayafagwa la pa. Uboni tanga linga aga ute afresh. Awas guti tanga lize linga na nintoke yo muntu. <laughs> Here is proceed. It's life cycle. You eat. You go to the loo. The, the, this whole thing goes back. It produces something. You eat. It's a cycle of life. If that cycle is interrupted, you die. If you can't go to the toilet, you are violating the cycle. That is why, here's another simple law of reciprocity. You breathe in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide. That's reciprocity. You take in, you give out. You take in, you give out. That is reciprocity. So where the law of reciprocity is violated, it is not honored, it affects relationships. Reciprocity in our relationship with God. God blesses us. What must we do? We must worship him. We must pray. We must worship him. We must praise him. I need to see as you said, when praises go up, blessings come. That's reciprocity. Prayer is one way we provoke God to intervene in the arena of human affairs. So, lagungana reciprocity corner, siakanyazana. We have a mindset that says, "Ya aba zalba mabang enthele lok." After all, iba bang letela imchabeni. Minang apply elang ugutingi zela imchabeni. Ya fanel bang enthele one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bang kulise, bang ise skolweni, bang bang tengeli mpasa ngkule. Ya bang ise skolweni. Ya mina maseng maseng right. Vela him ganti him ente bang leta. Oxi oxi ente bang leta. So yeah, that's the attitude. Ganti pipe liti repay your parents. Yabona fani kuna manya ma versi se funege swalete. Do you know guti? There's a scripture that says, if you curse your parents, you are cursed yourself. Unga lingu tanda se laba zalba kama dangerous prayers. Eh? Yo, unko siyam. Seven is flying scroll. You have not the winning pair and a corner and attending Len Sen was seven this seal. Now, what is the law of reciprocity? The law of reciprocity states now, I'm bringing it back to the context of the pastor and the congregation. The law of reciprocity states that 
when your spiritual leader ministers spiritual things to you, you need to reciprocate or to return the favor or to return in kind by ministering material things back to them. It is an exchange. It is an exchange. That is why Paul says in Galatians 6, 6, let him who receives instructions in the word of God or the one who is taught the word, what must he do? Share in all good things with his teacher contributing to his support. In other words, those who receive the ministry of the word must reciprocate by sharing in all good things with the one who teaches. Another word, another translation uses the word communicate. The word communicate means to come into communion or fellowship with, to become a sharer and be made a partner, to enter into fellowship, to join oneself as to an associate, to make oneself a sharer or a partner. Now, it is clear from this passage of scripture that we are to reciprocate to the man of God who teaches us the word of God regularly. So as our pastor teaches us the word of God, you know spiritual things we have a responsibility to minister back to them material things or carnal things now how does the law of reciprocity operate if someone blesses your life ministers to you frequently invest into the growth of your spiritual life then it is only right that you in turn sow back into their lives can somebody say amen in fact in the old testament and as no money was look no one went to receive ministry from the men of god without reciprocating i'm not talking about charging money and then charging people money to see the men of god i'm not talking about that that is not biblical that's not what i'm saying okay i'm talking about the principle in first samuel chapter 9 verse 6 Saul was sent by his father to look for his missing donkeys. And Saul left with his servant to look for the missing donkeys. And when they could not find the donkeys, Saul said to his servant, Look, I think let's quit looking for the donkeys. Let's go back home. Um, lest my father stop getting worried about the donkeys and start getting worried about us and then the servant says to Samuel I mean to Saul he said um, but there is a man of God in the city he hears from God he will help us locate the donkeys and then in verse 7 of 1 Samuel 9 Saul said to his servant if we go what can we give the man? The food in our sex is gone. We have no gift to take to the man of God. What do we have? Now, Saul understood this principle. He says, okay, I hear that the, the, there's a man of God. He's authentic. He can help locate the donkeys. I know that. I hear that. Uh, but look, there's a principle here. We are not just going there just for him to show us the donkeys. We need to reciprocate. What offering, what gift do we have to give to the men of God? We don't have a gift. We don't have an offering. We don't have anything to give. In other words, Saul was saying, it's not just about us getting help. It's not just about us locating the donkeys. But it is also about us reciprocating. Yes, we can go there, we can get assistance, but what do we have with which to reciprocate? Saul knew that they could not just get ministry from the men of God without ministering back to him or reciprocating. Now, this is not payment. This is a principle of reciprocating. Saul knew that just as they needed to be ministered to spiritually by the men of God, the men of God would need to be ministered to materially. He was not only concerned about getting ministry from the prophet Samuel, he was also concerned about reciprocating as well. He was concerned about ministering back to the men of God. He seemed to have said to his servant, it's fine, we can go to the men of God and get our need met, but that's not all there is to this whole thing. We need to also to minister 
back to the man of God. So the principle of reciprocity is this. When a man or woman of God ministers spiritual things to you, you need to minister back to them material things. Saul understood this principle. That is why Romans 15, 27 says, It hath pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, in other words, spiritual things were ministered to them, their duty or their responsibility of those who had spiritual things ministered to them is also to minister unto them carnal things or material things. So the principle is this. When a man of God, when your pastor, when a man of God ministers spiritual things to you, it is also your duty, those of you that receives the word of God, to minister back to him. Now, that is why, Bazalwane, eh? what do we do when we have a guest speaker? What do we do? When they, after preaching, what do we do? We take up an offering. Why are we taking up, back an, why, why are we taking an offering for them? Because of this principle. Is it because they charged us? No. Any, every man of God who is pastoring a church has sacrificed something. We have sacrificed a lot. Hmm? and we sacrifice a lot any pastor that is pastoring a church you see them past they have sacrificed Abazalanenu <laughs> Now, let me, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 13 and, and 14. Do you know that those who minister holy things eat of the things of the temple? <clears throat> and those who serve at the altar partake of the offerings of the altar. This, the Bible says, those who minister holy things eat of the things of the temple. Little pipe in it like on a light temple in. So many songolela and mugnala and tiruna. But fundi simba songolela in. I am willing win and will a general. Those who minister holy things eat of the things of the temple. Those who serve at the altar. Partake of the offerings of the altar. His changan he read the line that boy walk on. Is a libo shelwe. When you take a goat or you take a donkey and you tie it around a tree with a rope, and there is grass. It's only going to be able to eat around where it's tied. How far it goes will be determined by the length of the cord. 
that has tied it. That is where it will eat. Look at verse 14. Verse 14. Even so, the Lord has commanded. Who commanded, Bazalwan? Who commanded? Is it pastors? Is it apostles? Is it prophets? Is it evangelists? Is it teachers? Is it church elders? Who has commanded? The Lord. What has he commanded? Even so, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should leave from what? The gospel. Manje, why is it is your servants? Those who preach the gospel must derive their livelihood from the gospel. So Lababa Shuma Vangeli Bazo Pilangan Bazalwan. Nevangeli. Yi lo na lowo. Upila ngenda yenzai. Aboto gotela ba pila with their medical practice. Medical doctors make a living by their medical practice. Lawyers make a living through their law practice. Soccer players make a living through soccer. Ogaga is when you soccer player, a full time, it no, um, um, bamba bambe, it to honyana le three days. Baba funechi mean every day. Politicians make a living through politics. Though they may be having businesses that are run by their family members. Pastors, men of God, women of God also make a living by what they do. Basalwan, those who preach the gospel must live from the gospel. What does that mean? That means they must eat, they must dress up, they must educate their children, they must buy houses, cars, clothe themselves, invest for their future, etc. by what they do. That simply means that the income will come from what they do. The Bible is clear that pastors must derive their livelihood from the offerings that come from into the church. Basalwana amabanda etulawa asi sapotwa u government. Agna government or support amabanda. Instead, the church is registered as an employer. And we have taxpayers. I'm a taxpayer. Amen, Bazalwan. So, little by baby, Abba Fundisi, Bapila Nalo Kabawenza, yo. Ali Tibapila Noktola Mato. So, so ke bazalwane abafundi sifanele bamamela uNkulunkulu angithi and uNkulunkulu uthi la abashuma elivangeli bazo bazophila ngani ngokushuma elivangeli bazophila ngevangeli idlala iboshelwe khona manje nifuna ukukhumula intambo nisise isando nase Kempton Park that is why so that our faith level can grow. Now you are not my source. God is my source, but you are the channels that God is using. Thinking at it, you are right, and we are looking to Him as our source. However, the same God we are looking to has commanded you to give, has commanded you to pay tithe, and the tithe belongs to Him.
And it is through the tithe that belongs to him that we are able to earn a living. And the offerings you give to him that we are able to earn a living. Mara bengiti mina bazalwan it dangerous land to go to stumela ne kunkulungu leaba. Can you imagine nifunuk shata? Nifunik council nifunuk shata. Ngi ta ino hamban la pana iki anzotola kufuli wani me la pe altar ni talumo ingole ani an shatis. Nami ni stumela kunkulungu langi ti amasanga fulegi. Sonke sinange na sonke I invite anu moe ngo lenti moe ngo lenti says figi. Nifuni premarital counselling, no problem. Figa no man funa ugu malape stage ngoba se anointed ni begi itulo ni velen valamel tu moe ngo lenti says figi le si 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 stelu kulumenat. Oh ni nom ngabo. Oh, no problem. Kuna mtu shonil. Ah, ya kuna nkinga. Umuwe ngolu mtu duza. It is our comforter. Vela nishanga ni njengo mde. It is our comforter. It is our comforter. It is our comforter. It is our comforter. Then, ngelanga lo mngwapo. Nibegi pogi silapana. Nibizu mwe ngwele. Nibi matune. Nifike nilbege lapani. Leshi se niti mwe ngwele. Kota ma verse mwe ngwele. How many of you know that you can't do that? Even though the Holy Spirit is involved, but he uses a man. And one day, very soon, Mzo Kuluma about six reasons why you need a pastor. Six reasons. Guna banya 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 who Jesus says, Ulu in manja, seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession. Aks who Jesus should my life. So, I want to go to the right hand of the Father, but I want to go to the right hand of the Father. Who must reciprocate? Those who receive ministry. From a man of God, same from prepare a look for. Okay. The wash angel born again. What page? Okay. Who must reciprocate? Those who receive ministry from a man or woman of God must minister to the one who ministers. Luke chapter 10 verses 1 through 12. After this, the Lord appointed 70, 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, Jesus is sending his disciples. He told them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. Go, I'm sending you out like lambs amongst wolves. Now look at verse 4, Bazar 1. Do not take a purse or a bag or sandals. And do not greet anyone on the road. When you enter a house, first say, peace to this house. If a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. If not, it will return to you. Verse 7, stay in that house. Stay in that house, eating and drinking whatever they give you. For the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcome, eat what is said before you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of God is near you. But when you enter a town and are not welcomed, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that sticks to your feet will wipe off against you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is near. And I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Now, notice in verse 7 that those receiving ministry, verse 7 and 8, to go into places to do what? To preach the gospel, to heal the sick, okay, and to raise the dead. And then he tells them, 
don't take sandals don't take your money bags in other words don't take any provision don't fund this mission on your own now look at verse 8 verse 7 he says when you get a house where there's a man of peace you go into that house he says stay in that house stay in that house we will say today stay in that church stay in that house eating and drinking whatever they give you for the worker deserves his wages did you say it long you go you get into a house you stay in that house eating and drinking what they give you So number one, dijole tadi fuma na mo kili rumi lente. Dijota le na di mo efangedi. Dijota le na di mo musebeti. O kili bile di tengo eta wona. Halifikan chong eu. Halino ba rere la fela la rapel la baba kulang la la rere fela wa fela na mo latama. Twenty ba li fedi ju. Aki aki kri amen. He says for the worker deserves his wages now he's saying you are workers you are going there to work you deserve your wages do not move around from house to house stay in one house verse 8 when you enter town and are welcome eat what is set before you so wherever you go they must put something for you to eat. They must reciprocate. You know, the blind, the maim, eat. Eat what is said before you. They must reciprocate. They must reciprocate. They must reciprocate. They must reciprocate. They must to feed them. That's why they, we need to feed them here. They need to eat. And that is why we need to pay them. We need to give them an offering. Amen, Bazalwa. Notice they were commanded to remain in the same house eating and drinking the things that they were giving. Do not move around from house to house. But you need to stay there. Stay in your local church and eat. It is the responsibility of those who receive ministry from the men of God to reciprocate. Matthew 10 verse 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. But as they cast out demons, healed the sick, raised the dead, people were to reciprocate by ministering to their physical, material needs. Now, let me close by looking at some biblical examples of those who reciprocated. The first one is Lazarus. Now, we, Lazarus and his family. How many of you remember that Lazarus died? He was sick first. Jesus was invited. He didn't go. Lazarus died. Jesus didn't go immediately until the fourth day. Jesus went there. And how many of you remember the miracle Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead? Now John chapter 12 verse 1 through 8. Then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead. There they made him supper. And Martha served, but Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. 
and the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, say, said, Why this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money box and he used it to take what was put in, in it. But Jesus said, let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have always. Now, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Now, the Lazarus and his family now organized dinner to honor Jesus, to reciprocate, to return in kind, to reciprocate. Jesus had raised their brother from the dead and so the family got together and they arranged dinner in honor of Jesus. In that dinner, then Mary took a costly oil that was worth 300 denarii. 300 denarii was a man's salary for the whole year was equivalent to a man's salary for the whole year. That's how expensive that perfume was. And she broke it and she started anointing Jesus with it as a gift to honor him. So they honored him. Can somebody say amen? They reciprocated. Dinner was served in Jesus' honor. They ministered back to Jesus as a family after he raised Lazarus from the dead. The second example is the women that Jesus ministered to. In Luke chapter 8 verses 1 through 3. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod steward, and Susanna and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. These were high-profile women that Jesus ministered to. He cast out devils from them. He ministered to them. And these women, high-profile women, after they were set free by the power of God through Jesus' ministry, what did they do? They reciprocated. How did they reciprocate? They funded the ministry of Jesus. They ministered to Jesus out of their substance. That's the law of reciprocity, returning in kind. That's the law of reciprocity. They returned in kind. They ministered back. They ministered back to Jesus for the great things that he has done for them. It is the law of reciprocity. Can somebody say amen? Let me give you uh, one last example. In Matthew 8 verses 2 through 4. Matthew 8, 2 through 4. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one. Notice the instructions Jesus gave him. See that you tell no one, but go your way. Show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Now you are cleansed. Don't tell anyone. Go your way. Right? Here's the instructions. Go your way. Show yourself to the priest. And do what? Offer the gift. Reciprocate. You are now healed. You are cleansed. You are free. But you need to reciprocate. By offering the gift. Return in kind. Return the favor. A leper cleansed by Jesus of leprosy was commanded by Jesus to show himself to the priest and to give an offering. So, those who receive ministry have the responsibility from God to minister back to the one who ministers to them. Please, I want you to understand that not only um, 
is it a principle um, between you and your pastor only but any man of God any man of God if there's a man of God who ministers to you and you are touched sow a seed to them l l let me give you a secret Bazalwan. never ever 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 and I want to teach you this as the congregation of DLCI any reputable man of God never allow a man of God to minister to you without you ministering back to them carnal things when a guest speaker comes and they preach the authentic word of God and we are taking an offering for them reciprocate whether it's one on one whether you meet a man of God who gives you a word whether you feel led of the Lord whether somebody somebody's ministry touches you and you want to reciprocate reciprocate it's a biblical principle spiritually reciprocate in any relationship reciprocate in your marriage reciprocate in your relationship with your parents reciprocate in your relationship with your children reciprocate as husband and wife reciprocate as as an employer and employee reciprocate as an employer you can't have your employees giving their heart out working hard without reciprocating and giving them a decent salary and then yes, Basalwan and Nizoti, Amen. When we talk about the employer employee in the in, in the company slay. But what about Loma Mogwenzeli Washi? You are an employer, Pel. Reciprocate. Return in kind. Lom Zalwana Ognigi lift. Reciprocate. Reciprocate. So in closing, we can reciprocate as individuals, believers to our pastor, but we can reciprocate collectively. And that is why next Sunday is the Sunday that has been set aside for all of us to say Mfundiswetu, you have ministered to us, you are our father, you have sacrificed and we are here to say thank you we are here to minister back to you you've been ministering spiritual things you've been ministering you're praying for us and we are here to say we want to minister back to you we are here to complete our own cycle you have completed your own 180 degree cycle we are here as a church collectively of dlci we're here to come together to fulfill and to complete our own cycle that is the law of reciprocity but i beg you in the name of god it should not just end here you know, I teach my children this principle about taking care of the elderly. Minabanteng ba sondela gakulu na umsondela banta batala gakulu. Mwa banta batala abakolwa yo. Ababa fundisi, ababa ntu anabaga nkunungkulu. Kune zinto, abazi pete. Enga fanela ngutuba hambe nazo. Aba fanele bazi shie. Ange guztole le zinto ule gute. Guztola maula ituze. Ene uba onara. Now, even if umamako ubaba abasindi swanga, Isbusiso banaso abanakshianas. Ndela ni vali kep ni basonde la banta batal. No mama tala ni mshia na bantuana for the whole year. Nige ntata bantuana ni boni plan ni ti mama a enas funu shayo moya funu guisa ekruga national park. 
Umama since what to know Bonnie Pubez as a seven anima plazi, Nala TV. Is it as man? Are you sure when? Are you sure who to mama, no baba, a Kesalako, Bose Bashon, a one like Kibeli aeroplane? Who corner when? When I buy skill, Labue, Flera no, Pachetania, no, by Seteben. Ya baya saba ngoba bazwe izinto ezinengi ukuthi amaphapha asuka fika la uvele uthi no 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 sizohamba nawe mama ubabu ubabambe ngesandla ikhuphuke 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 bahambe bafike Deben balale nase hotela avuka umuntu omdala afuna ukudlala ulumbhedo uthi no ngandlala uni mama bazondlalula makaqela lena makakuya kuleyo trip it will take ten years. Abako shabanda batala. Bakulu mintu e one jala ngi tini chelil. Bakulu mintu hey umdana me hey hey mina ngi kibeli le leanto. Yabo na madami le anto la mina futi bengele festere. Ngi ngasa tugang uchela njalu makelo ano ake penche la ni nasa penche ni. Bakosha pela na abanda batala. And let me tell you, abanda batala maseba kuli le bas gabi sang abantu ana babo. Question is, Ikesha lako no mako ko baz kabisa na wena. Let's stand. You know this was a very rich word, eh? He's really stood like a cool lady. Whether But Tell Pastor Dineo, as him shining his under as um, as one on any Sunday, um, Bantuanabam. Um, I think Abu Bab Chauke e report Bazo Nigeza, um, Yalentesi Kalile. Um, we are still committed to go and show Oguti we bring something better. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.